Hello, my friends. I am here in Pompano Beach, Florida at the EV Annex location. They are a Tesla accessories superstore. And I'm here with none other than Nick Howe. Say hello, Nick. Hey, guys. So Nick has written an awesome book on Tesla amongst, uh, and he has a really cool YouTube show as well. So Nick, tell us about what you're up to and what you're doing. Oh, so much, so much. Um, I have been a Model S owner for two and a half years now. December of 2012, yes. I took delivery. Nice. Uh, VIN 2298. So I'm not a. I don't have a signature car, but I'm a. You're 2298. 2298. This is 2233. Ah, so That's we're pretty, pretty close. close. But I haven't owned it the whole time. Like oh, okay. I, I bought it used. But anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, and I've been uh, an enthusiast about Tesla. I, I couldn't afford, well, I suppose I could have afforded a Roadster just about if I'd been, been really careful, but I'd had a Lotus Elise. Oh. So I knew what that experience was like. Oh, yeah. um, and I was looking for a little bit different kind of driving experience. And so I was looking at, at all kinds of different cars, Porsche Panameras and kind of sports sedans, really. Sure, yeah. um, and, and this just ticked all the boxes. It was oh, like, absolutely. you know, how can you not fall in love with this car? Right. Um, and uh, became very enthusiastic, was pretty active on the forums in the early days when we were all trying to figure out right. what the hell was this thing right. and how did it work and what do the buttons do and how do you get the door handles to pop out? Sure. And uh, started creating a little uh, kind of hints and tips list. And then Roger, who owns Evanex, who I think you're going to be talking to later, yes. um, he does have a signature car, and he developed a little checklist of things to look out for, for new uh, owners. Yes. Um, and I used that when I took delivery of my car and thought, oh, this is, this is kind of useful, because there was still, it was very early production days. I watched a video of one of the Tesla marketing guys who said, around about the time that this car and my car were built, they were so short on people, they were pulling marketing people out of the Palo Alto headquarters and putting them on the line no way. to help oh get God. get the cars out of the door. So yeah. there were some, you know, a few little Yay. production issues early on. Um, so we had a checklist and, and that got quite popular on the forum. And then as Roger started his company selling that center console insert, he said, you know, it would be really cool if we had a book because a lot of owners have a lot of questions about cars. Um, and I'd done no publishing whatsoever, so right. he said, what the hell, let's let's have a go. <laughs> let's do it. So I took my checklist and I took a few other bits and pieces and, and gradually over the course of about three months, one page turned into 200. Oh, and there you go, <laughs> that's the story. Great. Yeah, and your book's been selling really well. It has, It's uh, and it's, it was never written to make money. Right. You know, I'm not in it to make a buck. It was really just an extension of, of what I was doing on the forum, and it was yeah. kind of giving back to the community. Sure. I got a lot of help when I was going through you know, the early days with my car. And this whole EV experience, I, I say in the book, it's um, the Model S is like every car you've ever owned, and it's like no car you've ever owned. So, so trying to cross that divide of just being helpful to, to new owners without being patronizing, because at the end of the day, it is still a car. So it was, the, the goal of the book was just be very factual, um, help people through the buying process, maybe you know answer the questions that I had when I was going through that process, and then what are the tips and tricks that hundreds of us on the forums had learned over those first few months, and then kind of give that back to the community. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. I love it. Now tell us, now you have a YouTube channel, obviously, that's <laughs> yeah. that from um, the trunk, yes. so tell us new, about news, that. news from the trunk. Yes. Uh, um, so one of the problems with writing the book is it was a snapshot in time. It was, you know, a year and a half ago now. Sure. And as we all know, the Teslas evolve every day. They're oh, making there's... tweaks on the line and there's the software updates and hardware updates. So. It was kind of how do we stay on top of all the things that are happening, and I'm I'm just interested anyway. I'm, I'm kind of a believer in Elon's mission. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, I was paying attention to you know what are they saying in the shareholders' calls, and and what are the the changes that are going on in the personnel, and what's going on with the Gigafactory, 
and it just seemed like a logical thing to do to spend a few minutes a week just, you know, taking some of those news articles and, and just, again, sharing them. Right, giving your take on yeah. what that news is. Yeah, a little, and, a little yeah. bit of analysis because, again, you've got, you know, the short sellers who, you know, every time yeah. anything happens, they're just trying to drive the stock price down. Right. You've got, you know, the Tesla fanboys and, and fangirls as we are who, you know, it doesn't matter what's going wrong, everything's... <laughs> Yeah. Everything's amazing. So what I again, I, I try to walk a fine line with a, a, a factual analysis, as close as I can get to sure. avoiding the hyperbole, um, yeah, and and trying to distill some of those those yeah. news items into into what's really going on. Yeah, and I think people appreciate that because yeah, if you're too far one way or the other, it's it's pointless information. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's uh, I don't do them as often as I would like. Uh, you know, I have I have a day job. So it's very much a hobby. Uh, this isn't a profession. I'm like you know Roger and his company. That's sure. that, all they do is Tesla. Uh, for me, I, I have a day job at Hitachi, and uh, and so this is just it, it's part of my hobby. It's an enthusiastic thing, and and it, it's I've got some great feedback and great comments, and it, yeah. people seem to like what I do, and uh, and so. You know, I, no, I'll yeah, keep doing it. Absolutely, no, and that's great. And because people love, you know, the fact that you can add, some, and, and the fact that you're not an employee or have, it, you know, it's a real job, actually makes it more valid. I think. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. I would love to have a little bit more of an inside track. Uh, yeah. You know, I, you're probably the same. I get all kinds of questions. People think I have this secret, yeah, you know, yeah, source yeah. of knowledge, and there are a few go-to people I have. I wouldn't name them. Uh, to protect the uh, the innocent or the guilty, um, right. but but if things seem slightly amiss, I will try and and do some fact checking and, and try and get to the underlying yeah, issues. Yeah. Um, fortunately, that's few and far between. Usually, you, you can pick through the news stories, and I know enough about the company that you can kind of well that doesn't ring true, and, yeah, and that does. So, Definitely. and how about you, did? Welcome to Florida. Oh, thank you. Florida <laughs> is amazing, except for the toll roads. What's wrong with the toll roads? <laughs> oh my God, I, I can go on, but I don't want to bore people. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, I live in Arizona. There are no toll roads. Oh, I mean, okay. it's just easy breezy, go where you want. Yeah. So, you know. Whatever. Yeah, I suppose we kind of get used to it over here. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, well, and on a long road trip, you know, every state's a little different. So yeah. it's like you, you're here for three days and you have to learn a whole new system. So that's the only downside of this massive road trip. Yeah. Is that. But, well, one of the interesting things is uh, the, the whole what hour per mile discussion because there's there's all kinds of discussion in the forum about range and it's probably the number one topic when you're sure. talking about Tesla and one of the things that often doesn't get mentioned are those two things which are the climate you know it's 90 what are we today 90 95, 95 it's yeah. out outside now um, and then the hills now yes the highest point for 200 miles from here is 22 feet above sea level <laughs> so we don't have to worry about yeah. hills too much no um, but I'm running, I've had my car two and a half years, I've done about 325 watt hours a mile, I think, on average. Um, and I think that's a combination of two factors. One, I'm not the slowest driver in the world. Well, I mean, um, how can you help but yourself? I, I have a P85, so, yeah. um, and the AC runs constantly yeah, for 12 months of the year. So so that, that does have an impact. But overall, it's uh, it's been great. Yeah, uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can't say enough about the car either, but, you know. Already, we've already been down that road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, hey, uh, any last words or? Um, just support this guy. He's doing an amazing job promoting Tesla. You know, do what you can. Um, I say I'm a great believer in the future. I am very long on Tesla stock. I, you know, I'm a great believer in in Elon and and the mission. Uh, and anybody out there who happens to catch sight of this on YouTube who doesn't have a Tesla Model S, get out there find someone who does we all give rides to people we're more than happy to to share or head on to one of the stores take a ride it's uh, it's definitely the future absolutely well hey thanks so much for joining me for a few minutes and uh, it's been a real pleasure and uh, i'll link up all of your your book in your your youtube yeah. channel as owning well, model so s can, is uh, the book and yes. news from the front is the is the uh, yes. youtube channel so. i'll put links to those though so cool. people can get to them right very from good here, but Excellent. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.